Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss what is a subquery, single row subquery, multi row subquery and then I will discuss few practice questions on subquery. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me define what is a subquery. Query within another query is called subquery. So you have the inner query and then outer query. The inner query will be executed first and returns the result to the outer query. So whatever the result the inner query has given will be considered as an input to the outer query. Then outer query will be executed and finally it returns the result. Now the subqueries are broadly classified into two types. One is single row subquery and you have the multi row subquery. Now what is the single row subquery? In the single row subquery, the inner query returns a single record to the outer query. Whereas in the multi row subquery, the inner query will returns more than one tuple or row to the outer query. So in place of here only I can write more than one tuple or row to the outer query. Now we will discuss few practice questions for better understanding. First I want to list out the employee names and the salary who are earning more salary than Adams. So there is an employee called Adams. If he is an employee, obviously he will get some salary. Now you need to find out the employee names whose salary is greater than Adams. Now we'll go to the Oracle SQL place and then we will look at what are the existing tables are there. To do that one, I will write select star from tab now you can see we have the DEPT table EMP table bonus table all these things now you have the EMP table look at the data which is there in the EMP table now you can see we have the data if you want to look at the data properly then you can write set line size 200 now if I write select star from EMP then you can see we have the employee number, employee name, job, manager, hire date, salary, communication and then you have the department number. Now can you see whether we have any employee name called Adams. What is his salary? 1100. So how can I display that one? I can write select SAL from EMP where E name is equal to Adams. Okay, as Adams is in the upper case, you need to write the string also in the upper case. Now, what is the task you need to do? You need to find out the employees whose salary is greater than 1100. Then you can say, sir, for this one, why to go for the subquery? I can simply write like this select employee name you are asking and their salary so i am giving the attributes as e name comma sal from table called emp where salary should be greater than 1100 then you can see these are the 11 employees who are earning greater than adam's salary but if you write like this later the adam's salary may increase or decrease then again you need to change this one so instead of doing like this we can go for the subquery concept so what i will do here is that first i will write the outer query what are the things you want to display you want to display the employee name comma salary from the table called emp then here where i can write salary should be greater than now i want to find the adam's salary so how i will write now you can write the this query select sal from emp where 
employee name is equal to Adams. Now, in this case, what will happen? This is your inner query. And this one, select ename comma SAL from EMP where salary. This one is your outer query. As I said earlier, first the inner query will be executed. So, it will give the Adam salary which is 1100. Then, you are finding the employee name comma salary whose salary is greater than 1100. Now, you can see we got the same output 11 rows are selected all these employees salary will be greater than adam salary which is 1100 so like this you can simplify the subquery concept now i want to go for the next question look at the next question list out the employee name and their salary who are earning minimum salary so i need to find who are earning exactly as minimum salary in that case what i need to find first i need to find the minimum salary how can i find the minimum salary i can simply write select min min of salary from emp now you can see with the minimum salary among all the employees is 800 now i need to find who are the employee names and their salary from the emp table where salary is minimum which is 800 then you can simply write sir select e name comma sal from emp where sal is equal to 800 this is very simple again you should not write like this because later the minimum salary can be increased or decreased then in that case again you need to update this constant let's consider that the minimum salary is updated to thousand then in this query again you have to write sal is equal to thousand instead of doing that one we can simplify this task using the subquery concept what i will do first i will write this select min of sal from emp as an inner query and then select e name comma sal from emp where sal that i will write it as an outer query so first you need to write the outer query select e name comma sal from emp where sal is equal to then i will write the inner query which is select min of sal from emp now let me end with the semicolon now the first inner query will be executed if you execute the inner query it will give you the minimum salary then you are finding the employee name and their salary whose salary is equal to minimum salary you can see we got the same output as earlier case we have the smith who is earning the minimum salary now we can change this question little bit i want to find the employee name and their salary who are earning more than minimum salary then in that case what i need to do i need to change the relational operator here in place of salary is equal to i will write greater than okay now instead of equal i will write greater than now you can see who are the employees are getting more salary than the minimum salary which is 800 i hope you have got the point now let me discuss the another question list out the employee name and their salary who are earning maximum salary you need to find first the employees who are earning more than maximum salary so first you need to find the maximum salary so what you need to write select max of sal from emp let me end with semicolon so the maximum salary is 5000 then what you can write you can write select e name comma sal from emp where salary is equal to 5000 then you can get the employee name is king who is earning 5000 so what is your inner query here this is your inner query select max of sal from emp and this query will be your outer query so first i will write the outer query select e name comma sal from emp where sal is equal to then i will write the inner query which is select max of sal from emp 
let me end with the semicolon now you can see the employee name king is earning maximum salary which is 5000 now you want to find who are the employees which are earning less than the maximum salary then you need to change the relational operator here instead of equal i will write the less than let me enter the backslash these are the employees who are earning less than the maximum salary now we will go to the next question list out the employee id common name who are working same job as smith first i need to find which job the smith is working so i can write select job from emp where e name is equal to smith i will write and the employee names if you have observed all the employee names are in the upper case then you can see so smith is working as a clerk now you want to find the employee id employee name from the emps table who are working as clerk then you will say sir i will write simply like this select e id comma e name from emp where job is equal to clerk clerk should be capital letters employee id what is the attribute you can look at the description description of the table called emp oh employee number is there okay so let me write select emp number comma e name from emp where job is equal to clerk now you can see these are the employees are working as a clerk which is smith adams james miller now this one we can write using the subquery concept so first you will write the inner query select job from emp where employee name is equal to smith then you will write the outer query so i will write simply like select emp number comma e name from emp where job is equal to okay or let me write job like or job equal to anything you can write and then i will write the inner query which is select job from emp where e name is equal to smith now you can see these are the employee numbers and the employee names who are working in as the same job as smith now let me discuss the next question which is list the employee id employee names and the department number who are working in the same department as blake and scott first i need to find in which department blake is working and which department the scott is working so i will write select star from or i want only the department number right so let me write department number from emp table where emp e name is equal to blake let me write blake now he is working in the department number 30 similarly i will find in which department number the scott is working so i will write selected department number from emp where e name is equal to scott okay so blake is working in the department number 30 scott is working in department number 20 now you need to find the employees details who are working in the department number 30 and 20 then how you will write select star from okay i want all details so select star from emp where department number in i will write 20 comma 30 now these are the 11 rows are displayed employee number employee name then job manager department number now you can see department number 20 and 30 are only there so you need to write the 
inner query first and then outer query so this is your outer query select a star from emp where department number in okay so that is your outer query so let me write select star from emp where department number in then i will write select department number from emp where e name is equal to blake comma i again i will write another query select department number from emp table where e name is equal to scott let me close this one and end with semicolon what happened let me add another bracket okay let me close this one now you can see we got 11 rows employee number employee name job manager hire date salary communication and then department number now you can see department number 20 and 30 are only there so these are the employees who are working in the department number 20 comma 30 this is the employee id name salary who are earning more than Allen and working not like Ward. Now let me write the subquery directly. What are the attributes I want to display? I want to display the employee number, name, comma, salary. So I will write a select EMP number, E name, comma, SAL, where salary should be greater than whose salary? Allen salary. So now I need to find the Allen salary. Select SAL from EMP table, where E name is equal to Allen. And then I need to find the job not like job not like I will write select job from EMP where E name is equal to what let me end with the semicolon from keyword not found where expected what we have written select emp oh we have forgot to write from which table you want to display so here i need to write select emp number e name sal from which table from emp table let me save this one close it and enter the backslash now you can see these are the six rows are displayed employee name and their salary okay what is the ln salary if you want to find look at here i will write select sal from emp table where employee name is equal to ln okay see the salary is 1600 now what you are displaying you are displaying all the employee names whose salary is greater than 1600 you can see everyone's salary is greater than 1600 you can see the employee name is not their word so the point here is that one is the salary should be greater than annual salary and not working like what i hope you have understood this one now let me discuss the last question for you list the employee details who are working in same department of sales now to solve this one we need to use the equizoin so let me write it for you select e name comma job comma sal comma e dot department number comma department name from emp table alias as e comma department table d where e dot department number is equal to d dot department number and e dot department number is equal to now i will write the inner query the inner query is what who is working in the same department of sales so you need to find the department number from department table 
where department name is equal to sales let me write the salesman not sales here it is salesman or we have any sales we'll check it yeah we have the sales department name thought like salesman is a job correct the job name is salesman but the department name is sales i hope it is clear for you okay we have found the employees details who are working in the same department of sales see department name we got sales only so these are the employee names and their job description and salary who are working in the department number 30 and their department name is sales i hope you have understood this one now let me discuss one more question for you that will be a very good question for the interview point of view find out the employee details who are earning second highest salary the first highest salary we have discussed here you can see the first highest salary we have discussed as in third question but now he, we are saying second highest salary first let me find out what is the second highest salary in the emp table so i will write select max of sal from emp table where sal is less than now i will write the inner query select max of sal from emp table now you know that first inner query will be executed it will find the maximum salary maximum salary is what 5000 now you are again finding the salaries which are less than the maximum salary then everything will come among that one you are finding the maximum salary so it will give the second highest salary which is 3000 if you want to verify let me display the salary details from the department table select sal from not department table it is emp table let me write select sal from emp table now you can see the first highest salary is 5000 the second highest salary is 3000 now what i am saying i want to find the employee details such as employee number and employee name so i will write select employee id right so i will write emp number comma e name from which table emp table where salary is equal to 3000 right first i need to find the 3000 how i can find the 3000 again i need to write the nested query so select max of sal from emp table then it should be less than i will write select of max of sal from emp okay let me oh i should have opened one more bracket here it will give an error i know let me edit here i need to give one more braces here let me save this one close it what happened we have to write here where sal right that we have forgot let me write here select emp number e name from emp where salary is equal to select max salary from emp where sal is less than you need to write right already i have written that one let me give a space again command is not ended properly here i have closed the bracket here i have closed let me i have opened here right now it is perfect let me close everything yeah we got these are the employees who are earning the second highest salary if you want to verify you can look at that one select e name from emp table where salary is equal to 3000 because the second highest salary is 3000 so this is the scott and ford is earning 3000 that is the output we have got i hope you have understood about the sub query 
and then various types of subquery such as single row subquery and multi row subquery and these practice questions if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day